Welcome back, I'm attorney Thomas Burton, and today's question comes from Madison, Wisconsin, and the reader asks the following. Beneficiary of testamentary trust established in 2004. It was amended in 2005 without successor trustee bearing witness. Valid? Question mark. Then they explain, trustee made disbursement when I was 30, which followed the original document to the trust. Now upon turning another age, trustee is following the amended provision to the trust instead of the original like before. I was under the impression that for an amendment to a testamentary trust to be valid, the successor trustee must bear witness, sign the amendment. The amendment is signed by the settler now deceased. The amendment is signed as witness and notarized by settler's attorney and signed as witness by the witness. Okay, so the question is, is an amendment to, the way I understand it, to tr a trust valid if it wasn't witnessed by the successor trustee? And the answer is, in general, yes, the only person who needs to sign an amendment to the trust would be the settlor or the grantor, the person who created the trust. So in your question here, you say the amendment is signed by the settler now deceased. So assuming the settler signed it while they were alive, which I am assuming here, but if their signature was on there, if they signed it during their life and if it was a revocable uh, well, you said it's a testamentary trust, so to me that's a trust established by a will, in a will. So as long as you're alive, you can revoke or change your will as many times as you like. So if they made the, if this was inside the will, it would actually be a codicil to the will. But let's say it was a revocable trust. Either way, they could make the amendment during their lifetime and it would be valid and it would become unchangeable upon their death. The will is no longer changeable. A revocable trust becomes irrevocable upon the settler's death. So all that's required for an amendment is for the settler to sign it. And the best uh, practice is we often have someone notarize their signature to uh, declare that was actually who signed it on that date. But if it was validly signed before their death, then the amendment would be valid and that would be the actual trust upon their death. So you can't go back to the first version they created 20 years ago and say that's what I want to fall under. It's always the most recent amendment to the trust is the current trust. Whatever it amended, that is now the trust we have today. And that's important for others viewing this as well to remember your trust the date you set it up is the trust you made, but at any point, if it's a revocable trust, you can change it down the road. So if you set one up uh, in one year, five years later, you can amend it and change the trustees completely or change the beneficiaries completely. You retain that power. So anyone who may be an heir or future heir in your state, uh, they should not think that because you set up a trust that everything is final and you a revocable trust, I'm saying, that you can't later remove them. You can totally do so as long as you have capacity and as long as you're alive with a revocable trust. And it sounds like the settler made an amendment here changing the ages of the trust distributions before they died. And in my experience, that would be totally valid and the successor trustee would need to follow the most recent amendment in administering the trust. So great question. Thank you for asking. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.